Hey guys, Accurate here. Welcome to Project Zomboy Killing Sean Hilton, part 41. Alright, so I unloaded everything. It took me most of yesterday. Then I read the uh, Fishing for Intermediates book, and we've got that leveled up to the max. I slept in a little bit. As you can see here, we got the multiplier to level 5. I tried to read the uh, trapping one because I thought I was ready for intermediate for that, but it's... I just need a little bit more. It says it's too complicated for me, even though I'm really close to being in the level 34 zone for intermediate for that. But uh, today I want to go, now that I've got the truck all cleared out and I got the uh, extra military backpack here ready to go. So that'll be our secondary. I have this one pretty much cleared out as well. And then these are our essentials right here. Our uh, machete's doing great. As far as condition goes, and we have the old uh, nimble pack axe, pickaxe, nimble pickaxe of extinction, doing pretty well as well. So I would like to go raid the police station. This could be a dangerous mission because I know I saw a Cromwell Archer do it, and he almost died trying. It, it's it's either I think it's either here. I don't think it's this one though. It could be. Maybe it's here, or I think it might be over here. Not 100% sure, but it's one of these blue buildings. Cause that's your community services like your government buildings so i'm ready to go check that out so let's go ahead and uh, get going here see how much fuel we have here oh yeah we got we got plenty we'll be just fine no worries there so let's get going and uh let's see which way we want to go to make it sort of the easiest route um see i could just go the old route we normally go or i can maybe go up this way a little bit, maybe cut over. Not 100% sure. Let's see here, we're, we're right here. That's a little complex. I think what we'll do is we'll just follow, go around the park, kind of go up here like we're going to the mall, except we'll keep going straight here. So it's a it's a path we're used to traveling. So let's go do that. It's 1 p.m. already. We might end up staying a night in that area, but. Uh, Let's see what the police station has for us. Can't remember how much stuff CA found there, but uh, I'm sure it's probably pretty decent. Oh my gosh. It's like the opposite of the parting of the Red Sea. It's like collapsing. Collapsing of the Red Sea. Or the Dead Sea in this case. See what I did there? Yeah. Alright, so I did a little poll did a couple episodes. Well, I did the, the live stream test, and I had my face cam going for that. And then I, uh, that didn't work out too well. Too much, uh, not a consistent enough upload speed, I think, for the Starlink. So, probably gonna have to wait till I get fiber out in this area, which probably should be within a year to do, uh, live streaming, which I'm really looking forward to. You guys always seem to really enjoy it as well. So, I'd like to do that on a you know, maybe twice, three times a week basis, somewhere around there, and supplement it with this, uh, with the YouTube videos as well. But I went ahead and did some uh, face camming in regular gameplay, and uh, so people were like, "Yeah, I like it." A lot of people were like, eh, "I don't really like it." There's a spear zombie. Let him go though. So I decided to do a poll to see exactly where it stood. So in the course of like less than 24 hours, I got 1,200 votes and it's 76% for no face cam you know 24% for face cam so that's where it's at there's quite a few people who are like I really don't care either way but uh, so yeah no more face cam until uh, I start live streaming again again and then it's pretty much you know kind of a requirement at that point to have that sort of connection with the, the audience in, in real time so a lot of people said it was just distracting which I get. I, I, I can understand that. Especially if you're playing a game that has like night scenes and stuff like that. And it's there's like this glowing person down at the bottom of the screen. But that's alright. Save me some money on, on a really nice camera I was looking at. So Alright, back to the gate. What do we got here? There's another... That's not going to be like a... That's going to be like a screwdriver zombie or something. I think we're going the correct way. We're sort of going the correct way. As long as we keep going in this general direction. 
Could be oh, what? How did I end up that way? There's a story behind that, I'm sure. I'm not... <laughs> My fingers weren't resting on the keyboard at all. I don't know what happened. Oh, well. It happens. Whoa! And violence. Just violence everywhere. It's funny when you go into different cells that you have never, like, messed with. How it's, like, just very zombie dense. I think I need... I can't really go straight here, can I? I guess I can. Yeah, we could probably go straight. Feels like a little... I, I really like the map system. Oh, no. Maybe I can't go straight. Okay. We're sort of in a suburb here. This might... Not go anywhere. Oh, this is... This feels like a trap. Feels like the zombies laid a trap for me. Let's do a reverse 180 and... Get back on the... Some two-lane roads. I've come to the conclusion that I'm pretty much going to... Just with my normal gameplay, I'm just gonna kind of pretty much destroy most most cars that I get within a you know about three or four weeks, which isn't a big deal. We can always find more. We already got. I think we came through here before. I think we might have actually raided this area before. Yeah, it's so easy to get distracted in this game. There's there's so much to do. All right, let's cut through this way. That looks like a. Ooh, that, I bet you. Might be a good cafe to find some more spices. But we're good. We got, like, lots of hot sauce, which is important. Pepper. Rice wine vinegar. Vinegar. Olive oil. All the essentials. To make things taste yummy. Especially that fish. We got lots of fish. Lots of rabbits. And I think what I'm going to do... It started getting chilly here. I think I'm going to go ahead and... Have Sean go through the winter and make it to uh, to spring. So when we get through um, the thaw, then we'll go ahead and uh, call it, uh, assuming he's still alive. He might not survive this episode. You never know. But assuming he's still alive, if he gets... Ooh, they're eating their own over there. Look at that. Delicious. They need some hot sauce, though. They're, it's just not going to be as good. But, um, yeah, once he gets to the thaw where we're no longer dealing with snow... Um, another one. Man, they're just, they're really starving over here. Sad. Save the, save the zombies. Where's UNICEF when you need them? Red Cross. Deliver some supplies. Save these poor refugees. They didn't ask to be zombies. Okay, we're sort of getting into the area here. We might just do a uh, little hostile takeover of one of these houses. And There's a jack right there. I remember when we were looking for a jack. Is this going to be the police station? I can't be that good. No way. That's not the police station. Is it? What the heck is this place? Oh, it's the news network. Okay. So, it's probably like a different color anyway. Yeah, it's green. All right, let's head up here. I don't I think I think it might be behind me, actually, but... I go up here. Oh, I don't like that because you never know what you're going to run into, like a huge horde. I hate it. I hate it when it just doesn't disappear. So they're going to add like uh, animal, like tam tameable animals, I think, or just animals in general where you can actually see them to the game. So I think that's going to be their first step towards um, non-player characters other than zombies. So Hugo plush. All right. I think I'm a little... All right, let's head this way. There's a lot of government buildings over here. This almost seems like the court district or something over here. There's some, is that law office? Yeah, we're in the, we're in the law office area right now. Knox Bank. What else we got? That's a legal firm. Yeah, I have a feeling we're probably going to be kind of close to where the police station is. Got some coffee shops. And what do we got here? This looks like a courthouse. This feels like a courthouse. City Hall. Okay, so we're at City Hall. We gotta be close. And next, maybe this one's... That's the public library. Um, no, not really. What were we going for? County Clerk and... Oh yeah, we're in, we're in the right area. That's the uh, clerk courts or records or whatever. I think this is the uh, museum. 
right? Yeah, the art gallery. Okay. Let me take a look here again. So we're pretty much out of the blue area. Um, might be one street over and behind us a little bit. I'll show you here in a second. Yeah, I think we just need to kind of go back this direction a little bit. Should be in the right area. So let me show you here real quick. Assuming there's not a huge horde of them. I think it's going to be like right here. Ah! Hitchhikers. Don't pick up hitchhikers. No matter how aggressive. Alright, so I think we go down this way. Oh, is this a... Uh, oh, it's a pawn shop. That would be kind of cool to break into. Honestly. They're going to bust down that gate quick. Okay, and this, this might be the area right here. Oh. Am I in the, in, am I in the area? I don't know. I don't know. I'm starting to not have confidence again. I gotta go one over. I gotta go one more street over. Stand by. Let me flip around here. Try not to get bogged down by the zombies. I imagine that can happen where you just get surrounded by them and you can't get your car to move forward. Not enough torque, momentum. There's a... Ew, what is that? What is that zombie? Is that just a... I can't even tell what that is. Alright, yeah, this is it. This is going to be the police station right here. Okay. So we got the police station here. I'm probably going to have to do a little bit of killing here. So I'm just going to park it right here. All right, guys. Ready? Let's do this. Holy cow, that's a lot of zombies. Holy smokes. All right. <laughs> I think I might just lead these guys out a little bit. So, the... The gig is up. So, let's uh, try to call them out here a little bit. Yep. If we're going to move them, we're going to move them. Okay. There we go. Okay. That's a lot of zombies, man. I guess there was a lot of court dates going on when uh, we're not going to fight these guys with the, uh, the machete. We're just going to kind of move them along. So I might just do, do a circle of the block and then kind of come around. Try to gather them all. Pied Piper them out of the area. Let's ball these guys up. All right. Come on, guys. As I'm trying to get the stragglers. I'm trying to get the stragglers. Now, I think something I got to worry about is once I move them, they're going to want to kind of uh, come back and fill in the gaps. So even though I move them out of the area... Get away from my car, man. Scratching the paint. Even though I'm going to move them, they will eventually come back. Because they kind of spread out into the into the open areas. Alright, that's a, that's a lot of zombies. <laughs> Alright. This is, uh, this is going to be interesting. Come on, guys. I feel like if I can move them down here enough. There we go. The problem is it's kind of hard to ball them up because there's not a lot of room to maneuver. You know, you got to kind of... I don't want to be running and wearing myself out either. But see, these ones are already starting to drop off. Okay. So I got like a... I'm going to try to double back here. This might be a bad idea, but I, I feel like I got a little more room here to work. Because we got a little bit of an area on the sidewalk here. Why, like, I don't know why they're all stopped right here. <laughs> yep, I got their attention now. Okay, there we go. There we go. I don't think it's really a question of if Sean's going to die. It's going to be if my PC dies, like my, my CPU. <laughs> it's just it's like, I'm tired of trying to figure out where all these objects are. Blah. Okay, so we got him here. 
And uh, I think the horde is attracting a horde. Like, I think they're hearing the horde and they're just kind of like uh, coming attracted to that. Because they are kind of noisy. There's a lot of glass breaking and things like that. And I thought I saw some sort of movement there. There he is. Okay. Oh, we got a couple right here. Got three, four. Um, hmm. This alley might be the worst idea ever. We got to make it through before the zombies get to us. And we did. Okay. <laughs> All right. So we made it. Uh, I'm not going through there. Get stuck at the door. Anyway, I'm not worried about a few odd stragglers. By few, I mean like 36, 40. I'll, I'll deal with them if I have to. I'm, I'm really worried about like, you know, 100, 200, something like that. So if we pull a few right here, I'm, I think we're going to be okay with that. I'll just take them back to the area of the police station and start working the pile. This is actually a pretty good area. Um, if we had to ball them up and kill and ball them up and kill. I didn't bring any food or anything. I figured we could just eat what we find. But, uh... It's like we might be able to, uh... Yeah. It's like we might have been able to clear this area out a little bit. Look at that. That's not too bad. Alright, let's start working the pile. Now I gotta worry about things behind me. Um, so... Oh, thank goodness I have, like, such a high machete skill. kill. Okay. Yeah, we got a few of them still coming. I think what happened to Cromulent was I think he got in here, he had cleared him out and then they just sort of like all decided to come back all at once. And he was like on the second floor and they were coming up the stairs and it just was a bad situation. So I'm just going to kind of take them as they come at us here and just keep my head on the swivel. Oops. Speaking of Gromulent. Is that it? Oh, okay, kind of. Kind of. Kind of. I want to kind of get in here and move quick if I can. I'm going to drag these other two, no doubt. Um, or not. Okay. They're completely oblivious. Mm. Let's pick up the broken glass. And let's remove the broken glass. Oh, we got few in here. Okay, let's have them come out here. Crawl at me, undoubtedly. There he goes. So, we got some more to deal with here. And we got some creeping back into the area. Okay. Let's do a zombie ball. They're kind of coming from every, every which direction right now. Civilian got themselves a shotgun or detective. Can't tell which exactly, but uh, this is exciting. This makes me nervous. Dangerous quick. I almost died there. Or at least got severely injured. I wonder if Nimble has anything to do with that, like getting out of those situations. Because early game, that would be a no no. You'd have, you'd have died right there. Let's open this up. There we go. And I really don't like to go inside, but I don't think there's any avoiding it. We're going to probably have to. Let's 
police department is very well um, staffed. A bit jealous, honestly. Probably had some in-service training and they had like all these officers from outside jurisdictions coming by to use their fancy conference rooms and all their AV. Oh, hello. It's like they just come, like they just sort of just come out of nowhere. All right, we're slowly making it through the lobby here. I wanted to kind of call out, but I think the prudent thing to do is to just kind of like not do that. <laughs> Hello. Yeah, we got some we got some outsized jurisdictions here. How did he come? How did he? How did he come out from behind the? Uh, oh, that's a, that's an um. That's a column. I thought it was just like a little planter or something like that. I was like, hey, where did he come from? Okay, that's supposed to be a column, obviously. Just can't see it for some reason. It's still, uh... Alright. I'm gonna take a peek outside. See how bad things are looking out here. So far, not too bad. Still looking good. I mean, very bloody, but good. And, uh, he's a little anxious. Old Sean could probably use the smoke. We'll give him a smoke here real quick. Well, we made it inside. Question is, how far is this going to go? I am not going to advance time while we smoke, just so you know. Just so you all know. Okay. Holy smokes. They just keep coming out of everywhere. Like... I hear glass breaking. I hear. It's almost like there's a silent alarm going off. Let's check our six. Goodness. I want to start getting nervous when I start getting tired. Luckily, that has not happened yet. I want to kill this guy because he's annoying me. There. Goodness gracious, would you be quiet? Like they're coming down the stairs just in a drove. I'm getting backed into that corner there. I don't like that. That's a lot of zombies. Oh my gosh, more? This might be the biggest kill number for a day yet so far. And this isn't even like, do you remember the horde that I led away? Might have to return to, I might have to flee and then come back later and just kind of thin them out again. I have a feeling I'm running out of, I have a feeling I'm running out of uh, light at this point. It's becoming a bit dangerous. Yeah, I think I think I might just lead him outside, and I'm gonna have to go find somewhere to stay for the night. It's getting a little dark. We're getting a little hungry, and the zombies are starting to return a little bit here. So we'll we'll go find somewhere to stay nearby for the night. It doesn't have to be anything fancy. But we'll do that, and then um, we'll come back. We'll clear these last ones out here. All right, so there's been, oh, you coming over here? Of course you are. All right. What is our kill count up to anyway now, at this point? 2,480 zombies, 
two months, five days, 13 hour, hours. Hey, and our weight is going up. I was eating like crazy. I was eating all kinds of horrible junk food, like chips and just sugar cereals and things like that. Let's deal with these real quick here. By real quick, I mean real quick. There we go. Alright, very good. Um, okay, now where do I want to stay? That's the big question. Do I want to walk there or drive? Because if I drive, I'm going to draw attention. Let me see here. What's that place? That place looks interesting. Kind of want to find somewhere that doesn't have... Well, here's my thinking. Maybe we just drive back home, come back. Hopefully it's a lot... There's a lot less zombies. We come earlier in the day. And then... So maybe this is like stage one of infiltrating the police station. And then maybe we have stage two. Because I don't want to sleep in the police station in a... Even like in an evidence room or something like that. But at least we know where it's at now. So it's right there. Okay, I'm just going to come down here. Straight down. Get out of here. Oops. Thought I hit... Um, unless I find somewhere really op opportune. So I need to go down like two more streets and turn. Can I? That's probably going to be a huge horde, isn't it? Oh, this might have been a mistake. I think I'm going down the street where I just left the horde. Oh my gosh, look at all the, the damage they did to the fences. Okay, let's not looky loo too long though. Let's get going here. Okay. I can sneak in somewhere, that'd be alright. Just kind of need to be sneaky. Sneaky, sneaky. This is all like office buildings and restaurants and stuff like that. Hugo Plush. Sort of a residential area. Is there a residential area nearby? There's got to be. I think we're. That's parks. Residential here on the corner, but it might be in like a huge. It's probably going to be like a huge apartment complex, which is probably going to have like a lot of zombies inside. I don't think they're just going to have like a single family home where I have to clear out like three. Okay, let's just keep going this way. We'll see what we come into. I think we're probably going to run into. You know what? We could probably go up to those houses on the river. Stay there. Just trying to think what would be... Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. This ain't so bad. It seems so tiny. <laughs> yeah, we can clear these out pretty quickly, I think. Yeah, let's clear this one out, I think. Let's do that. Yeah, we'll just clear this out. Make sure we check our six. Still gonna be drawing some stragglers from where we drove the car up, but it shouldn't be anything we can't handle by any means. We got one coming up. Deal with this one real quick. And we'll deal with these three or four that are coming. Getting a bit a bit difficult to see. Okay. Let's clear the house. Get rid of all the trespassers. I guess it's technically probably me. Hopefully these windows are like not broken. Oh, the window's open actually. Hmm. I think this guy's about to start banging his head into it. Yep. 
That's what he's doing. Hey, hey, stop that. That's my house. That's my safe house, buddy. Okay, we got one coming from below. Let's, let's try to get him at least coming from somewhat the same hemisphere. Okay. Oh, they broke my window. Those bastards. I guess we're going to have to go to the next house over. Man, he was about to get up quick, wasn't he? He was, he was raring to go. Well, I was going to go inside this one, but... One behind me? Yeah. I'm ready for nappy time. Even though I'm not really tired, still got lots of energy. Can we open it through all the weeds or all the... All the ivy? Come on, John. Hear a zombie breathing. That normally means they're close when you can hear them breathing. All right. All right let's go find him. Where are you at? Where are you at, buddy? Oh, you're here somewhere. I hear you breathing. Are you just next door? You look like I got a really snorry neighbor. It's probably gonna be in here. Or upstairs. Always a possibility. Alright, well, so far it looks good. Close all these blinds. Just to keep the looky lose at bay. Alright, might maybe at the top of stairs. He's up here somewhere. Gotta be. So loud. Oh, man. Behind this door? What do you think? What do you think? Nope. How creepy is this? You know he's going to be like anxious all night, right? Okay. <laughs> well, that'd be it. Holy cow, they multiplied. All right, come on down, boys and girls. Okay, how many were in that room? My gosh, how'd they all get in there? Oh my gosh, another one? All I'm looking for is a bed. Okay, not here. Downstairs? The back door? Front door. I don't know. Let's run around and find out. I think he's in here. I think he's in the neighbor's house. Yeah, everything looks clear. Alright, I think our house is clear, so we don't have to worry about that. So let's head on upstairs. Get some sleep. Oh, you know what? We need to eat. That's right. I'm trying to keep my trying to keep my body weight up a little bit. So let's go find some junk food to stuff in our face. Drink a little bit of water. How's the canteen doing? Yeah, I could use a refill. All right, let's find something to eat. Some beef jerky, some cereal. That'll do. That'll do just fine. all that. There we go. Are we full to bursting? And we'll take these two for the road. Good snack foods. Anything in here worthwhile? Probably not. Some hot sauce. Some soy sauce. Not bad, actually. Not too bad. Everything else is rotten. But well, we'll take a can of chili. Again, I'm going for the high f I guess I'll just take it all. Okay. So we're good for tomorrow. Be well fed and have plenty of energy carry lots of weight and still not get too tired he's got some a garter some trousers a beret and a bra all right let's might as well check this one as well newspaper 
I'm gonna read that real quick. Just to pass some time. Alright, now let's try to get some sleep. See you guys in the morning. Yeah, at least we'll be close to the police station. We should wake up at a decent hour or two because we weren't super yeah. Weren't super tired. Alright, folks. Looking here at the time. I'm gonna end this episode here. Like, comment, subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. Greatly appreciate it. I'll see you in the next one. Y'all take care.